This time I'm going to discharge the 70 microfarad 6400 volt capacitor bank into the CD-ROM that I just hit with the Marx generator in the previous video. The CD-ROM surface wasn't completely eaten off by the marks. There's a fair bit left, so let's see what, if anything, a shot from the cap bank might do to uh, the CD that I have uh, just lying across the uh, output connectors of the cap bank. There, we're nicely zoomed in at a good angle. Let's get the cap bank set up for charging, and then I will uh, fire it into the CD. The capacitor bank is now hooked up and ready, so let's uh, attempt to discharge into the CD-ROM. Charging. Charge. Fire. Well, it seemed to have an effect. There was a huge bang. The CD leapt up into the air and then landed on the electrode. Let's make sure everything's discharged, unplug everything for safety, and then we can examine the CD-ROM and see if it's cooked or if it needs to be fired again. Uh, here's the CD that was the target first of the marks, and uh, then the capacitor bank. The coating is probably 80 plus percent blown off it by that, leaving some rather interesting light-catching patterns on the disc. Well, this CD is certainly more interesting to look at now than it was uh, a little while ago, earlier this morning, when it was just another scratched, defective CD that wouldn't play. Anyway, thanks for watching, and there'll be more videos to come, as always.